Look at that absolute How can we ever stop its tireless crusade to take our homes, our jobs and our coastal landforms? Techniques for managing coastal erosion fall under two categories, hard engineering and soft engineering. Hard engineering tends to be expensive. £50,000. Solutions can be unsustainable and have a high impact on the landscape and environment. Now I bet you're wondering what types of hard engineering there are. You can build a sea wall to protect the cliff space against erosion and prevent flooding. You could build groins, which are barriers built at right angles to the beach to prevent longshore drift. Do a jump! Do a jump! Do a jump! Yeah! Or you could put large boulders at the base of cliffs for protection, known as rock armour. And you have to admit those are some classy graphics. Soft engineering options are often cheaper. What's your name, by the way? They're usually more long-term and sustainable, with less impact on the environment. There are two main types. Beach management is replacing eroded beach or cliff material. It requires constant maintenance to keep replacing the material as it's washed away. Managed retreat is where low-value bits of coast are allowed to erode and flood naturally. This encourages the development of beaches, which are a natural defence like yoghurt. Though this is cheap, it's not free, as people need to be compensated for loss of buildings and farmland. Managing the coast is rarely straightforward. Different interest groups often want a different type of management. Local residents whose houses are threatened may want a sea wall, whereas environmentalists might want managed retreat. <laughs>